Okay, today's tutorial is going to be on creating and tracking fixed assets within QuickBooks. And just a quick overview of what fixed assets are. Uh, fixed assets are items that a company has purchased. They're never rented and they're never leased. Uh, items, for examples, I'm sorry, of fixed assets would be vehicles, uh, computers, office machines, manufacturing equipment, buildings, and land, sometimes. Uh, many of these assets depreciate over time and can affect the worth of the business and the amount of taxes that are owed. So it is important that we do track them. The simplest way to create a fixed asset item is why your internet transactions used to purchase it. And um, the example I'm going to show you today is going to be uh, via writing the checks as if you purchased it from your, your bank account. But there's other ways that you can um, use the items tab to record your fixed assets. And you can do that on the enter bill screen. You can also do that on enter credit card charges. And then the least used option probably is um, on a purchase order as well. Now the example I'm going to start with is to create a fixed asset item uh, from a transaction. And we're going to write a check here within QuickBooks. Okay, the banking account that we're going to use is our checking account. Excuse that pop-up. The check is going to be to print. And the vendor we're going to use, I believe, is National Motor Company. Okay. And I'm going to come down here to the Items tab. And here is where I'm going to enter the description of the item. And my example is going to be a 2007 Chevy Trailblazer. Oop, that one's already there, so let me pick another one. Let's do a 2007 Chevy truck. And as I hit the tab items, the pop-up says, item not found. Uh, would you like to add it now? And we're going to click yes. Okay, the item type we're going to pick is a fixed asset item. The asset name we've already put was going to be 2007 Chevy Trailblazer. Now the purchase description, in most cases, will match your item name and your number. Uh, but if for some reason it didn't didn't you can always change that there as well and on a date would be today's date uh, the cost would be the purchase price so let's say this truck is 24,995 the asset account now this is the typically with the asset account I create three accounts the first account will be the name of the asset 2007 Chevy truck I'm going to set that up as a fixed asset item I put the description the second asset I'm going to set up is going to be a sub account and that's going to be the original cost And that's a new item as well, so it's going to ask us if we want to set it up. And we are going to save it. Save and close. And then we're going to click on OK. Spell check comes up. And I believe I spelled everything correct. All right. Now, in most cases, when you go out and you buy a vehicle, not all companies can put down the entire amount of the vehicle. So in this case, we're going to put down $24,995. And let's say of that, we only had to put $5,000 down. And we opened up the, a credit line for the, for the rest. One trick is go to your expense tab. And you want to create the loan account. And let's just say it was first, excuse me. Let's say it was first national bank that we used. And let's say they financed to us $19,000 and we put the rest down we would take that nineteen thousand dollars and take it off and we'll do nineteen thousand dollars and in my memo field I'm gonna write to record loan on 2007 Chevy truck now if you notice up top here our balance is automatically has automatically calculated the amount that we actually wrote a check for. 
to National Motor Company and that was for five thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars and as I save this transaction that's a pop-up that's telling me this transaction is created 90 days out okay now I want to see how this transaction affected the QuickBooks or my books so I open up my journal transaction and if you notice all I had to hit was control Y and or I can click on this journal button right here and it's telling me the name of the person I bought it from which is National Motor Company and that five thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars came out of my checking account and nineteen thousand went to First National Bank the loan and the original cost went to that fixed asset item of twenty four thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars okay and I mentioned a little earlier that I like to create three items or three accounts for fixed asset items I'm gonna to go to my chart of accounts we're gonna look at a fixed asset we see the 2007 Chevy uh, truck and under it we see the sub account of the original cost I'm going to create another sub account and that's going to be called accumulated depreciation. And what this will allow me to do is track the actual value of that asset year to year. So let's say at the end of the year we decide to take a thousand dollars depreciation on that vehicle. Once we're done here, we can look at the chart of account, and that was done on the wrong side. We're decreasing the value. So now we know our original cost in that vehicle was twenty-four thousand nine ninety-five, and the accumulated depreciation as of today was a thousand dollars so the actual value today is twenty three thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars now it's important to track th to know that amount because if we ever needed to prove the worth of the company that's what we want to state we, we don't want to state that the asset is worth more than it really is and at the same time at the end at year end when we go to file our taxes this thousand dollars would be a uh, business expense for us to claim as well. And that concludes the quickest tutorial ever on entering and tracking fixed assets.